Wikipedia says, Dinesh Valeria was the wife of the artist Kalimberti Shandor and she herself painted in the style of Cubism. Danish was a talented, strong, outstanding painter in her own right. In 2019, her work depicting the city of Bruges sold for 110 million forints, a record price for a painting by a Hungarian artist. In this demonstration, I will create an urban landscape in the style of Danish. Perhaps by copying her technique, we will gain a deeper understanding of her work. In 1906, she enrolled in the school of Matisse, one of the leaders of Fauvism, and later even accompanied him on his travels to the East. Perhaps it is through Matisse's influence that Valeria embraces the love of black contours. After all, the French Fauves were looking for new visual methods. They used saturated, unnatural colors, flattened volumes, and reverse perspective. In Danish depiction of the city of Bruges, art historians were looking for the viewpoint from which the picture was painted, but they could not find it. A distinctive feature of the fobs was that they tried to convey the mood and not the so-called reality. In her work, Danish conveyed the rhythm of the roofs and the color sensation from the Belgian city but did not depict any specific place at all. A whole generation of Hungarian artists of the early 20th century went to Paris, where Matisse taught at the time, and to the Julian School. Fashionable trends in French painting, which used clear contours, inverted perspective and bright colors, made a great impression on young artists. Returning to Hungary, they founded an art residence in the city of Nagybanya and began to call themselves the Hungarian Fobs. In Danish's painting, one can see the influence of the light, elegant French of the early 20th century and German Expressionism with its heavier, tense range of colors, as well as the cubist, with their geometric forms, need for extraction, and muted color palette. Danish was considered a cubist, and this is partly true, as her canvases resemble Picasso, Leger, and Braque. Among the works, there are also oval-shaped compositions beloved by French cubists. Terracotta, Indian yellow, and abundance of browns and neutrals in contrast to blue. By the way, my blue shade was rightly called Parisian blue because of the love of French modernists for this color. I will paint the trapezoids and triangles of roofs flat, but I will not completely paint over the shapes. The technique of Danish was very fast, almost sketching, as if she was creating an underpainting or sketch and does not complete the picture. Danish Valeria died at the age of 38. Her beloved husband left for the war. She became very worried, eventually falling with pneumonia and soon after died of a nervous condition. Galimberti Schandor could not cope with the loss of his wife and shot himself in the gallery. Their little son was left an orphan. The tragic fate and early departure from life is also overshadowed by the fact that most of her works were lost and today only about a dozen paintings remain. Her sister, Dina Sofia, publicist and historian, who 
who inherited Danish's painting after her death, wrote in her monograph. I have never seen such self-denial in a woman, such a desire to live for the cause, this absolute and unshakable artistry that went its own way and viewed people and institutions only through the prism of its artistic interest. Lovely, it's a lie. You shake me, shake me till I'm done.